Hey guys, this is Josh Farley back with another video. I um, mean, in this video, I'm actually going to be showing you guys how to make your uh, rooted Android device, um, Google Play Store um, device certified. Um, so, if you guys don't know what this is, um, Google Play Store has a thing inside of it now. It, it actually first started this probably like a few years ago. Um, there's a, a section in the Google Play Store. I'll actually go here into the settings and show you guys that if you go into the settings in Google Play Store um, and you go down here to About, um, it says Play Protect um, Certification. Um, certification. Um, it says Device is Certified. So basically what this means is um, if your device is actually showing that it's not certified, um, mine is because I actually have the Magisk module installed that actually allows it to be certified, but we'll get into that. Um, but anyway, um, so if your device is not certified um, by the Google Play Store, you know, or, you know, your phone's not, you know, certified, you know, by anything, um, but the Google Play Store is important because um, with the Google Play Store, um, if your device is not certified, in, in other words, what device not certified mean it means is um, your device is rooted, um, or you have a custom ROM installed, or something like that, or you unlock the bootloader. Um, it's mostly because your device is rooted. It's mostly because your device is rooted. Um, you're, you'll see this that your device is not certified, um, or if you have a custom ROM installed, you know I think you have to be rooted to install a custom ROM anyway. So you know it's basically. Um, some kind of thing um, that a developer or Google, you know, something um, implied into the Google Play Store um, a few years back. And it's been a headache for developers, for root developers and stuff, um, to try to find ways around this, you know, to try to find um, patches and stuff for this. Because it is annoying, because if you root your phone... Um, and your device is not certified, your, uh, your Play Protect certificate um, is not certified, then you're not going to be able to download apps like uh, Hulu, um, Netflix, uh, Disney+. Plus. Um, I can actually download those kind of apps as I, as I can show you guys. I'll search, search for Netflix here, and as you can see, I can install it, Disney+. Plus. I can install it, Hulu, uh, Paramount+, Plus. that's another one. Um, so... Basically, if your device is not certified, it's not going to feel like your device is trusted um, to install these kind of apps because they're they're they know that your phone is basically rooted or your your Android device is basically rooted. So um, there is a way around this, um, and I'm actually going to show you guys how to do that in this video. Now you do have to have a rooted device um, in order for this to work. You have to have a Magisk module installed. So what you want to do is you want to go to Google Chrome or any browser that you're using. Um, and you want to go to this website, XDA Developers, um, and I'll leave the link down below in the description so you guys won't have to search for it. Um, and you want to uh, go down here, and it's called Universal Safety Net Fix uh, Mod Magisk Module. Um, and it just, you know, goes over what it actually does here. Um, delete, disable, reset Magisk hide props. If installed, just install it over old Universal uh, safety net fix so that's the old version they're talking about that you may need to reboot your device um, you may you may be needed to wipe GMS data not cache so um, I didn't actually have to do that what I actually had to do um, to get it to work was once you install the Magisk module um, what you want to do is let me actually show you guys how to install the Magisk module um, so you can just go here you know I'll leave the link down below in the description and you can you know click on any of these um, and I'll uh, actually click on it and it downloaded as you can see um, I'm not going to install it though because I you know um, already have it installed so what you want to do is once it's downloaded you want to open up Magisk here and then you want to go over to the modules and then you want to install from storage and then it'll be right there safety net fix version 2.0 or whatever it is 2.5 something like that um, and then you want to install that and flash that and then reboot your phone and then what you want to do is you want to go to the Google Play Store and you want to tap on it um, or you want to find it in the settings and you know go to the uh, go to the about info and then you want to come down here and you want to go to storage and cache and then you want to go to clear storage um, I'm not actually going to do that because I already did it um, and it's already you know showing my device as certified so if that doesn't work um, then do as they say uh, go into the uh, as it says right here it says to uh, 
clear the uh, GMS data. So if that doesn't work, um, not the cache. It says don't don't uh, clear the cl the cache. Apparently, it says right there. So like I said, I didn't have to do that. Um, the only thing that I had to do was clear the uh, Google Play Store um, app data and cache, and I was good to go after that. It said my device was certified, so it will reset all your Google Play Store settings. So just be aware of that. Um, so you know it it does work. So just you know trust me on this. It does work. At least it works for me. Um, so if you have any problems, you know, it's not my fault. Maybe it's your phone. Um, I know that it works on my Google Pixel 6. It works on my Google Pixel 7. Um, I don't actually have root on my Google Pixel 7a because it's running Android 14 beta. Um, so I'm not really sure about that. But I know that it does work on my Google Pixel 6 and my Google Pixel 7. So, um, so yeah, guys, I mean, that's just a quick video. Um, I figured that I would get this video out there. Um, it is annoying because people keep having to come out with new... Um, um, ways to be able to verify um, the Google Play Store, and it can be annoying because, um, you know, I I mean, I kind of understand it. I kind of get it. I kind of get that Google, um, you know, they, they, you know, they're not really against rooting, um, but there are apps out there like Netflix. There's apps like Hulu, um, Disney Plus, you know, stuff like that that are against rooting phones and stuff, and they, you know, want to protect their stuff. So I kind of understand that, you know, but this is a way around it so you can, you know, download all the apps that you normally would, um, you know, I, I, I kind of think it's ridiculous. Like I said, I think it's, you know, ridiculous. But, you know, they're trying to, you know, save save their selves hassle. They don't want people, um, you know, with rooted devices trying to hack into people's accounts or, you know, stuff like that. So I can under, you know, I can kind of understand that. So, you know, you got to look at, you know, look at it from their perspective, you know, that if your phone is rooted, you know, you can do, you know, basically more things. You can, you know, hack stuff. You can, you know, do, you know, all kinds kinds of stuff with your phone when it's rooted. You can, you know, go into the file explorers. Um, you can go into the root of the system. You can mess with apps, you know, stuff like that. Um, install, you know, apps that you can't normally install on a non-rooted device. Um, you know, get, you know, in-app purchases and stuff for free um, with root access and stuff, you know. And I'm not actually saying that you should do that, um, but you can do that. You know, you can hack Wi-Fi. You can, you know, do all kinds of stuff, basically. I mean, I'm not, you know, implying that you should do that kind of stuff but you know that so i know you know basically where they're coming from you know but you know it does make it a hassle for root um users because there's you know um it's a hassle because it's it's giving you know them headaches because they constantly have to be coming out um with a new fix for this you know apparently like when you know google changes the play store or updates the play store um you know they constantly have to be you know it's like a cat and mouse game basically they have to come out with a new module um or they have to update the module you know so it's probably you know never going to be ending it's never going to be ending it's probably going to always be a back and forth battle um between between Google and the and the root developers unfortunately so um you know, like I said, I, you know, I give the, um, you know, I actually didn't say this, but I'm saying it now. Um, I give the root developers credit. I'm really glad um, that they came out with something like this, you know, to be able to fix this problem because it is annoying, you know, not being able to install, um, you know, your your regular apps that you want to install like Hulu, Netflix, you know, stuff like that just because your phone is rooted. But like I said, you know, I also understand, you know, where Netflix and them are coming from. You know, they don't want people, you know, hacking into other people's accounts with a rooted phone or, you know, um, even, you know, hacking their own account, you know, to get free stuff. So um, you kind of have to look at it from both ways. So, you know, like I said, it's a never ending battle. You know, they're probably going to, you know, uh, find a, a patch or something, you know, they'll probably patch it um, eventually or something. And then, you know, uh, the the root people, the root uh, developers will come out with another patch and, you know, Google and them will keep going back and forth. But, you know, it is what it is. That's what it is with the root community on unfortunately, you know, at least it's not like jailbreaking, you know, like, uh, with Apple with jailbreaking, you know, it, at least Google actually allows you to root your phones. At least they actually allow you to unlock your bootloader. Um, unlike Apple, they don't actually allow you to do stuff like that. They don't allow you, you know, iOS is just so locked down. I, I can't even stand, it. I can't even talk about it. Just, you know, irritates me that people even use iPhones. I think that they're, you know, overpriced junk in my opinion, but that's another video. So anyway, yeah, guys, I just wanted to get this 
this video out there. Um, I hope this guy, it, it, I hope that this helps you guys. Um, I know it helps me because, like I said, I like to use Netflix, I like to use Hulu, um, Disney Plus, all those kind of apps on my phone. You know who doesn't? Because you know if you pay for them, obviously you want to use them. So um, this is a fix for that. So you know I hope this uh, video helped you guys out. So anyway, yeah, guys, like I said, just wanted to get this video out there. If you guys like this video, please like and subscribe. And until next time, guys.